What's up, SL family, and welcome back to my channel, Life with Yaya. This is your girl, Yayoi, and today we're at the Zuby Anime store, and we're about to go registry shopping. Yes, I said it. We're about to go registry shopping. I was like, oh no, we're about to do this pregnancy all the way up. If I'm about to have a baby shower, I'm not about to have a whole bunch of fake gifts that's already been used at a whole bunch of other baby showers sitting under my table. We're about to have a whole gift opening segment and everything where we're talking about oh, what's on the cards and who got what gift. Girl, we about to do all of it, okay? So that's why I am at the store. Gump is about to meet me here soon so he can help me decide on some gifts. And we're gonna choose some things that are essential for our baby's development, like high chairs and whatnot. You know, things like that. Me and Gunther can take care of the fashion. That we, we don't need no help on that. But we do have some essential items, like I said, that we wanna get. Um, so yeah, just forget all that. Just follow me along in the store and maybe you'll get some ideas for when it's your turn. All right, I'll see you inside. All right, guys, welcome back. So we are inside and we are standing in front of their displays that lets you know what you can do to gain happiness for your baby's hood. So the babies, what I'm assuming, because I have not yet had a child with Zuby, but what I'm assuming based off of what these displays are telling me is that it's kind of like the Persephone body that we have now for the love mama body where if you eat, drink, and rest, you'll gain more happiness in your meter, which results in wishes that you can um, you know, get granted to you or have granted to you. I kind of feel like that's the, essentially the same thing, except what it says for the baby is that um, you have a 24-hour happiness timer and that you offer care at least once every 24 hours and the tokens are earned instead of like wishes. And what is important, because I know a lot of people, you know, they think that it costs a lot of money to go through this process. Uh, it's important to note that it says caring is an option, not an obligation. I know I am someone because of the way that I role play, I am going to take a lot of care of my child just because I want to feel like I am nurturing my child. But you don't have to sit here, sit here and spend money uh, buying all of these uh, different uh, components of the baby just to have the baby. You can just have it attached to your hip if that's what you so desire or take photos with it. You know, it's you know, we it's a game, so we do what we want with our our babies. So, uh yeah, just that's something to keep in mind. But I just wanted to quickly go through all of the different uh ways that you can gain happiness uh before I show you some of the items that I selected for my registry. Okay, so one of the ways that you can gain happiness for your Zuby baby or newborn is love. Now it says that in order for you to gain love, your baby must be held or given a love heart at least once every 24 hours and love happiness is achieved. Love happiness only requires a heart if you do not hold a baby. Love hearts can be used at any time. So yeah, you heard that. You don't have to buy a love heart. You can actually just hold your baby and give it some, some natural good old loving and you won't even have to pay for the love, you know? Uh, so yeah, that is how love works. Okay, so next we have the rest happiness. Rest happiness can be achieved by letting your baby use the crib at least once every 24 hours. Uh, the rest happiness requires that you have a Zuby and a mesh baby crib. So if you don't have a crib, you're not going to be able to get that happiness. Um, but you can use the crib at any time if you do have it. Next up, we have diaper time. And a baby must use a diaper with a diaper table. Uh, so you have to purchase one of the diaper tables in order to use this diaper uh, at least once every 24 hours. And that's when your diaper happiness is achieved. A diaper happiness requires a Zuby Animesh baby diaper and Zuby Animesh baby changing table. So that's two things, the diaper and the changing table in order to uh, be able to attain the happiness that way. One diaper lasts for 24 hours, so keep that in mind as well. So then you have bottle time. 
Bottle time, a baby must use a bottle at least once every 24 hours in order for their food happiness to be achieved. Food happiness requires a Zuby and a Mesh baby bottle and one bottle lasts for 24 hours. So you gotta go ahead and rack up on the baby bottles just like how you do in real life, rack up on the diapers and we have to use those once every 24 hours in order to make our baby feel loved and happy. So one of the things that I can't wait to do is bath time, um, which is what <laughs> is a great way for you to gain happiness as well on the Zuby baby hood apparently. Um, but you have to use soap with a tub at least once every 24 hours. So that means that you are required to have a Zuby Animesh Baby soap and Zuby Animesh Baby tub. Two things again in order to achieve that happiness. Again, you do not have to even make your baby happy at all to begin with. You can just have the baby and it can just be a little robot baby, you know? But in order to create a more realistic experience if you want to you have to spend some money here and now or just on those days that you feel like role playing with your baby in order to care for it so one soap lasts for 24 hours like everything else and so now that you all have an idea of you know what exactly is going on with the happiness hood and how you can achieve the happiness you can kind of have an idea of what i will be basing my registry list off of um, I'm going to be mostly shopping for the baby for when it is a newborn and a regular size baby. I'm not going to be doing any shopping for a child. I feel like those are things that I can gain along the way as the baby is growing. But I'm excited. Let's go ahead and uh, walk through the store now and you know get an idea of what I'm putting on my registry list. All right, so first things first, since we're already right here, let's just go ahead and check out these high chairs over here. Now, originally I was thinking about this modern high chair. I thought that that kind of fit my aesthetic, uh, but I'm not really sure all the way. As you can see, they have these color changing hoods. These go for 850 linden. Each and every single one of these have 850 linen and have a few different color changing options. But yeah, right now I am leaning towards the modern. And then as you can see here, they have these sippy cups that are also added to my list as well. And then these bowls of cereal uh, that the baby could also eat on um, the high chairs or in the high chairs. So as you can see here, this is my little registry list that I've created. And all I'm doing is just putting the price of all of the items as well as the name of the item and then the specific texture HUD or whatever it is, if there is one, um, as well as the exact landmark so that people can just drop dead in front of it and make it as easy as possible. So yeah, I'm just in putting my Zuby cereal bowl and I can't wait to see my baby sitting in the high chair eating. That's gonna be so cute. But I'm just looking though, and like these high chairs, like I'm looking between this left one and the right one, the modern one, and then it's another one. I think it's called a classic high chair. <sighs> I'm like, huh. Now let me put this uh, URL, the SL URL, so somebody can get my cereal bowl for the baby. <laughs> and then the sippy cups i think that i really like this one here with the uh different like logos on it it's called a decorative a decorative sippy cup sorry <laughs> um i think that the starbucks cup is really cute um, also just to be aware um on the side of each of the items you can see what these are made for so my newborn would not be able to use these they say animesh baby so newborns are not able to use this and then it says sippy cups can be shared between all of your babies um i believe that the pacifiers are the one thing that you can't share between your babies but these sippy cups are going for a nice price um so i went ahead and added those as well um for 450 linden 
it would be great if I can have people actually purchase some of these items from the baby shower. Um, because for one, that's so cute. Um, and for two, we did purchase a lot of stuff already for Otto. And then lastly, I'm just looking at the prices. And I was just trying to figure out like if there was a specific name that they were called. Hopefully people know which one I want. <laughs> Cause now that I think about it, I think all of them said decorative sippy cup. If not, it's okay. I'll be all right. I feel like my friends would know which one. But guys, this high chair here, I kind of like this one a little bit more than the modern one, to be honest. Let me see what Gunther thinks. I'm not sure, y'all. I, I really like the rug. I like the color um, and then the fact that there are more options of changing, I guess, more faces. Uh, it has more of personality to it, more of a touch to it, um, like a unique touch. Uh, like there he goes right there. He's about to walk past. Look at him. <laughs> Come here, baby. Come here. Oh, still about to walk. I'm right here. Okay, so yes, I am trying to decide between A and B. Right now, B is looking much better than A. I really like this one. I, I think that if I also play with the texture HUD, uh, I would be able to you know, really make this fit in my home. I'm hoping that I won't regret the decision though. I really am. Because the other one is super neutral. It's literally just like the wood base. And I really could just uh, use that anywhere. But something that Gunther was pointing out to me was that uh, the seat would be much more comfortable for me on this one here uh, if I uh, get this one because it has more of a cushion to it. So yeah, that's something that I am considering in purchasing this as well. I don't want to be in a hard seat all the time feeding at all. But yeah, let's see. I already went ahead and got the high chair, put that on the list. What else do we need? Oh yes, the stroller. We have to get a stroller. We have to. Um, I felt like these strollers were really cute too. I like the details of it, um, the mesh of it, the wheels, everything looks really cute. Um, just so we all are very clear though, these are not the actual strollers, these are the texture hoods. So when you purchase this over here, you are purchasing this texture that you are seeing on the stroller. You're not actually purchasing the stroller. I cannot be any more clear. But yeah, I'm gonna actually end up putting both of these on my registry list to see if somebody could possibly get the stroller and someone else can get the texture hood or if someone wants to get both. Um, but if you do want to get that, they are both in the same store. You just have to do a little walking. Gunther is always just, just there, okay? <laughs> Don't mind him. Baby is always working, busy, um, and I respect it, so. We are now just walking over to find the actual stroller. Stroller, stroller. This is a pretty big store. And then you can see here, they have like some of the furniture that you can buy for the nurseries. Uh, Gunther has already purchased all the nursery stuff for the most part. That's what I'm saying. So it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> we just we just need the little things y'all so yeah here are the strollers um so first of all this is just a stroller texture kit this is only for you to create your own textures for your stroller it's not 
a texture like it's not gonna put any type of anything on there but the as you can see the other ones are actually mesh strollers they say it on there so when you're purchasing the items from the zuby store you're gonna want to pay attention to the boxes the one that i am putting on my registry list though uh, in particular is this one right here because i kind of like the plaid print I will could also could maybe consider this one here or the one next to it that's fuchsia but i really like this one um over the solid strollers the other ones are a little bit too much for me or too babyish like with the polka dots and whatnot which is kind of weird to say because it is a baby stroller but ultimately i want my stroller to fit my aesthetic as well so it doesn't stop there though. There are other items that I do need to purchase in the Zuby store, but I decided that I would put it on my list as um, you know, an option for people to give me Linden instead or like a store credit um, because I did not want to just create this huge, huge list of things, but I definitely will be needing to come back for the things like the diapers and whatnot. And I will be needing to actually come back to uh, grab some little pants and pants textures and I might even need to get some little hair textures because there's all these different components of creating this baby and baby experience uh but yeah you all kind of got the gist of how i went about my registry shopping i really appreciate you all for sticking around this was a pretty decent length of uh, vlog this time so yeah that's pretty cool <laughs> but yeah I, I am going to go ahead i have to catch up on a class today and i do not want to miss it and i do want to get this video edited as soon as possible so without further ado thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time